Hey everyone, I found something pretty cool that I think uh, y'all might like. Um, I'm, uh, I, as far as my BitConnect journey, I guess this is about, what, day 28? Something like that. I'll have to calculate it and be exact on one of these videos, but for now, uh, that's kind of irrelevant right now. What's interesting is if you want to buy BitConnect coins, you don't need Bitcoin to do it. Yeah, thanks to Mike Potter. He's a YouTuber who puts out a lot of pretty good videos and he has a uh, deep background in technology and and uh, He's what, what was it? He said 37 years of uh, working on computers and then, and then he goes 37 years. I haven't had a job Because <laughs> I guess you know, hey if you if your job is something you love then it's not really a job, right? Anyway, he was talking about this. He says on coinbase you can buy uh Litecoin, transfer it over to Nova Exchange and only pay a penny uh, of a fee. And that was true. I did it and I recorded all the stuff that I went through, but it turned out to be like a 45 minute video. It's crazy because it wasn't exactly easy because I had to set up new accounts with and Bittrex was a royal pain in the butt. I am not happy with Bittrex. So what I did anyway is I bought Litecoin. Well, I had it sitting in Coinbase for a while. And I got it off of there and I was able to transfer it over to Nova Exchange. So I did that and then I then I went on to the market. If I'm looking at Nova Exchange right here, right? You look over here to the right and you can see the markets that are hot and you can just easily click them. Now the hot Litecoin market, look at that, BitConnect is right there. So you can go over there and you can use your bit your Litecoin to buy BitConnect and then go directly transfer it directly to your BitConnect wallet or to your uh, account on uh, BitConnect.co website. And now this here, what, I'm, what we're looking at right now, uh, waiting to send, is what I took out of Bittrex. Bittrex, I had some Litecoin in here. This site was a royal pain in the butt. Every time I tried to transfer, it would say, You've, you were not verified, you've reached your limit, and blah, blah, blah. So I put my name, my address, my phone number was in there already. All this crap, right? That still wasn't enough. I had to send a picture of my photo ID front and back and a selfie photo. Then they analyze it. I don't know how they analyze it, whether a computer looked at it and did facial recognition and matched me up to whatever's on the ID. Who knows? Then they finally approved me for my piddly ass little $125 withdrawal. You know, I can understand that if you're withdrawing thousands of dollars, but for just a little over $100, that is insane. And you know what? Whatever happened to this, this thing of freedom that we all like to experience in the crypto world, right? Why are you giving away practically everything to Bittrex to pull your money out of there? It's another damn business who I am, you know? It's, it's, I don't know, maybe $10,000. Yeah, I could get it. I understand that. Whatever. This is just crazy. The whole thing is just crazy. So anyway, back to Nova Exchange. You go over here and you sign up. And Nova Exchange was pretty easily. They don't even ask you, make you to use the Google Authenticator to transfer money out. At least not for the amounts that I'm doing. And I don't really like the format of Nova Exchange. I think it's pretty crappy looking like... When you click on the BitConnect market here, and then you look at the actual graph, I'm like, what the hell is this? This is the weirdest thing. That's a one-day graph. You know, you go to go to the one-day graphs on, on Bittrex. You know, let's just do OMG, for example. And even though I don't like this format, I like Bitfinex much better. See, that's what you expect to see on a graph, right? And that's a 30-minute one. One day. Right? I don't know. Maybe call me crazy, but this right here is weird to me. But anyway, you know, you you find the price, go down here. You know, I've got 0 0.00001 Litecoin left. Is that what they call dust? Crypto dust when you leave in tiny little pieces like that behind? I heard that term before, and I'm not quite sure if that's what they mean by that, but I imagine that's what it is. And someone says something about dash dust. I guess dash uh, well, coin was really bad about leaving that stuff behind so supposedly they fixed it 
But anyway, I'm clicking here to go to my wallets and then uh, you can see what's in your wallet. And of course, they're going to list everything that they got on here, which is crazy. So I have this hide zero checked. So I only see what I have balances in. So I have 0 0.0001. And see right here, right there, trash balance. Is that what that is? Get rid of your dust? Just throw away that little bit of money right there? I know it's nothing. But maybe a sliver off the side of a penny. And then they give me Nova points, which is something I don't really quite understand what that is yet. But anyway, my account balances are showing zero. Current transactions, you can click that. And you can see my confirmation. I'm trying to send this Bit Connect that I bought to Bit Connect website, and this is the address right here. Everybody, copy that. Send me Bit Connect. <laughs> so I've got to wait for the confirmations to come through. One out of three. But if I go to Bit Connect, I do think incoming transactions should show up. Oh, it does. It's already in there. 2.50. Okay. Incoming BitConnect transaction, so it's done. So Nova Exchange, let me go back over here to where that is. Hit refresh. It's sent. Even though the confirmations are not done, it's sent. So that means I have 2.50 in my BitConnect wallet. How much money is that? I have my little cheat sheet and spreadsheet here. I know because I can't do math because I'm a dumbass, but that's all right. I just put that in there, Hit enter. And what's today's price? 136.87, jeez. It is going up and up and up. Uh, scroll too far, 136. So, uh, $340. Ooh, I didn't know it would be that much. Well, that is not bad. I'm gonna make somebody happy today because I'm going to make a loan. All right, let's see what time my last loan was. Uh, that was at 2.54 p.m. This one was at 4.10. And this one was 9.27. So right about now would be a good time to make a loan. Let's refresh Nova Exchange one more time. And boy, this is going to be long, isn't it? Nope. Another thing I wanted to say is some people criticize BitConnect about their English. How about this? Right here. This disclaimer on Nova Exchange. Withdrawals are processed in bulk every 15 minutes. Not minutes. Minute. Check mark for number one. Once processed, your withdrawal will get status sent and transaction ID will be available. Um, I don't even know what... what once processed, your withdrawal will get status sent and transaction ID will be available. I mean, I understand what they're saying. That just wasn't quite structured right, so check two. Status manual means that your withdrawal will be processed manually from cold storage or any other reason withdrawal failed. Uh, check three. That doesn't really make sense. Status manual means that your withdrawal will be processed manually from cold storage or any other reason withdrawal failed. It's really weird. It just, I don't know, that sentence doesn't seem right to me. And then please wait, we are not working 24 seven. <laughs> okay. If anybody's got a problem with BitConnect saying it's a scam because their English is bad, well then Nova Exchange is a scam too because this disclaimer is laughable. <laughs> yes, I can understand what they're saying, but it's just weird. Okay, I'm boring you to death. Refresh one more stinking time. If it doesn't change to, okay, three out of three. Finally, we got three out of three conf confirmations. Okay, we're on the BitConnect site after going through uh, quite a few hoops and loops to get BitConnect onto the website. Bitcoin's at $4,600. BitConnect's at $136. i am just gonna make a loan. I could wait till later on today and then get see what kind of I get in my lending wallet, but. I'm at about $340 worth right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Because my whole goal is not to withdraw my money. My whole goal is to build up the lending bot. So $340. Click, I read the, read the terms of use, pay from BitConnect wallet. 
and 299 days it is locked up so at 10 32 in the morning i just made a 342 340 loan so we will refresh and now my money is working for me working for the bot or working with the bot so there you have it 340 in total investment one thousand seven hundred sixty dollars now let me explain something that I think some people are misunderstanding about BitConnect. They're thinking, okay, you just made a $340 loan. You can't get that back until 299 days. So all the interest that you're going to get out during that time, yeah, yeah, you withdraw it at 299 days. Then you get your 340 back. So you add that up plus your interest and there you go. That's what you, that's, that's it. That's defeating the purpose of the website. If you ask me, this whole platform is not designed. Well, I mean, They've designed it so you can do what you want. It doesn't matter whether you hold it in there, if you do it the way I'm doing it, or if you just want to pull it out every 299 days. It's up to you. They give you that choice. In my opinion, the best way to utilize the BitConnect platform, if you're going to go through the lending portion of it, not just do the staking and all the other stuff, feed this little robot guy here as much money as you can, as you can afford. The more money he has, he's stronger and he's able to go out there and smash the markets a lot better than if he's only trading with a hundred bucks. Your little bots out there trading with a hundred bucks, um, he can only buy and sell a hundred dollars worth of tokens or coins or whatever it happens to be on it. I pretty much think it's mainly Bitcoin, but you're not going to get much return from that. But if he had a hundred thousand dollars that he's trading, which a lot of not a lot, but there's some people on uh, YouTube who have done some major, major loans. Yellow Ducky Media is one guy, and I believe his capital release is coming up soon. His initial capital release where it's over like $100,000. But ne never mind that scams don't pay out. So and he's not going to get his capital back. So <laughs> just forget that. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, you need your, your bot has to have a lot of strength out there to be working for you. So at the end of 299 days, if you want to, if you take that money out, you're basically weakening your bot. My goal is to have my bot be as strong as possible to be able to give me enough interest that I'm happy with every day. And then I will just leave the initial investment in there permanently. I will never withdraw it out. There, there's no reason. That's like the foundation of your house. You know, it costs a lot of money to put a foundation in. Once the house is built, you're not going to yank that foundation out from under the house. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. But you guys can do whatever you want to do. But this is what looks like will work fine for me. Because as long as you don't need that money for an emergency or something, then it's locked up. You will get it eventually if you decide that you just want to quit doing the whole program. So you're not losing. That 1760 right there, I'll get that back. That's not money I lost. No matter what happens with the interest, I will get all that money back. So it's kind of, I hate to say it's a, there's no risk, you know, and it, and it's, but it's, it is safe as long as you can trust BitConnect. But you know what, what we've seen with BitConnect over the past few months, I think they've pretty much earned our trust. I trust them a lot more than I trust the privately owned Federal Reserve or the United States government. They lie to you all the time, but no one will call them scams, but they call, I should not bring in that negativity into this video. Basically my point is you can get BitConnect tokens without going through the, the whole Bitcoin mess. You just buy Litecoin, go to Nova exchange and use your Litecoin to buy BitConnect. It's a royal pain in the butt to do all this with the verifications and all the stuff that goes on between the different exchanges. But once you get used to it, I think it's going to be a lot easier. For me, it was very difficult. My first video ended up being like 45 minutes long because I had to keep pausing and figuring stuff out and waiting for them to approve. I had to send ID and all that. It's just crazy. But hopefully this helped you guys. Litecoin to Nova Exchange to BitConnect. And... I put a link in the bottom of the uh, area in the uh, description if you want to just go ahead and click and go straight to the Nova Exchange and sign up that way. And it'll help you out instead of having to Google it or whatever. And I believe that's it. So I want to thank Mike Potter for pointing this out to me. 
and it was in the buried in one of his longer videos so I think maybe a lot of people might not have seen it so I wanted to make a video just dedicated to that only and then do my loan so this would be day 28 BitConnect loan $340 and we're looking forward to more cool days on BitConnect y'all have a good one